Hello, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how I make my uni notes. I am in final year so I think over the past three years I have perfected the method of note taking. I used to just handwrite everything but now with the exams being often open book exams they expect you to know everything in a lot of detail. Being online it means I can just do control F or command F and find whatever I need on a big long document. So for final term I've decided to move everything onto Notion. Before Notion I used to use Microsoft Word documents but they used to be about 30-40 pages long. However I'm thinking a week or two before my exams when I'm in the cramming period what I will do is I will make my maps and stuff by hand so that I can make sure everything is thoroughly cemented in my brain. So welcome to my module notes. I have a little king emoji to stand for the king in the King's College London. So let's start with corporate social responsibility. One thing I love about Notion is these backgrounds and the headers that they've got. Now as you can see I've only done lecture one because because only lecture one has come out but at the top of my page I have little contents and I can just click on any one of these titles and it will take me to it. Defining CSR in practice I've got all of this. You couldn't have a contents page in Microsoft Word so if I wanted to go to my lecture one reading one of the best things about Notion is this toggle feature here so when I pull that down it basically has collated all of this information that I've done from the reading and you can also add hyperlinks so here if I click on that it will take me to the journal that I read and I made notes on so this way I've got all of my information for the reading the tutorials and the lecture notes in one place my sister has been a notion pro for well over a year she knows so much about this and she was like you're going to have a really long document if you just write this all in one word but I am used to having that. I know that if I do control F and I type in Prasad, look, it has come up. And if a question comes up about that, I can just find it, read it. Command F doesn't work for your toggles, but up here you have a little quick find. So if I was to type in healed, it will come up here in my corporate social responsibility notes. I'll click on that and it'll take me to where it is. Notion is also great because you can download the app on your phone and you can read your notes on the go, which I think is really smart. Another thing that is really important to me is having different types of ways to write things. And quite easily in Notion, they have a quote font, which I put all of my definitions in and all of my really important stuff. And then you can just type in blah, 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 blah. Like that also you can have these call out boxes so for example this is a call out box you can add and change these emojis if you've watched any of my uni videos before where i show you my lecture notes i live by emojis so having these built in is amazing so again here i have another call out and i've used the money emoji as it's about the richest 10 percent of adults so financial statement analysis and social psychology of financial markets are the same however my company law notes are very different because law is a very different subject. For law, you really need to know your cases. So I've created a little case law table down here and I've added in their tags. So for example, if I was looking for a case that needed to be about partnership, what I would do is I would just search and then these two are left over here. Or another way that you can do that is just by filtering um, and you can add a filter where the principal here contains partnership and then you'll be left with these two so for example on the Salomon versus Salomon case I have added in here the actual document if I wanted to go and read <laughs> when it comes to case law it's split up into two parts so you've got the facts up here one of our tutorial questions asked about the issue of this case but then most importantly you have the judgment I've also got the significance of this case because that was part of a tutorial question and what my sister helped me to do was to create a template so for example if I was going to add in another case I click open and then I just have to click case and the template comes up with the facts and the judgment and it is a female judge then to delete it all you have to do is press the six dots and then just delete it i would also link down below to two other youtubers so ali abdul did a video on how he takes notes and that was pretty useful and then there was another guy who was great and he was doing law and he had a similar kind of case law example so notion kind of works like a tree having lots of branches coming off each branch so at the top you can see how i got to my lecture one by going into my module notes going into company law then going into my lecture notes and then going into my lecture one and then these lecture notes can split off into lecture one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i feel like because law is quite heavy and there's lots of terminology you can't really condense it down very easily so having 10 branches off that will make it a lot um, easier to digest also if i find that this tree branch method works better than just having everything all on one document i can easily just move my notes onto different tree branches by adding a new page so say for example i wanted to do that on my corporate 
corporate social responsibility I just use the dash and then I add in a page and then this is where I can just type it in so I put lecture one here and then the title of it and as you'll see then that is inside of my corporate social responsibility so here it's come up as lecture one so these are my lecture one notes as you can see I have my happy faces for advantages and the sad faces for disadvantages and then as you can see here the commencement of partnership I have a case so if I was to click on that it will take me to this Khan versus Mia so it's really really organized and I've got all of my reading here so if I open that up what I've done with every single one of my readings is I have again done the little hyperlink in the title the week one reading was a lot less than what is happening in week two and week three so for example in week three I've got four so what I decided to do was add in toggles so as you can see these toggles are currently empty because I've not done the reading for week three yet but our teacher gave it to us early so to create a toggle all you have to do is the more than and a space and you've got a toggle also something that I did with my tutorial notes because tutorial one is actually going to be in week two I put the date here rather than putting just tutorial one in case I get a bit confused so when I add in my tutorial two it comes under the date that it was created. So here I put in the field, so if that one's gonna be on the 26th, the next one will be on the 2nd of February. And then what I have done in my other one is I've linked to the document. So I've written a Word document, which I will upload to Keats if I need to. And then I can just upload and choose a file via here. Let's add an icon for tutorial two. So now I have my tutorial two and you can see the date here is on the February the 2nd. So all I have to do is hold these six dots here, drag them and I can literally move it wherever I want. So if I want my reading to go here, it can do, or I liked it back here, so you just put it back there and it fits really nicely. So to create my lecture notes and my tutorial notes, what I did is I added an inline list and I titled them lecture notes like so, lecture one, and then I put the title, blah, 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 blah. blah. Then if you open it as a page, you can add in your icon for lecture one, so we've got a joker. So now as I come out, you can see how I created these little inline lists but I am now going to delete these because I do not need them. If you wanted to add in a table, a board, a gallery, calendar, timeline, it allows you to do all of it. It's so good. So for example, this timeline, inline, you can say my tutorial work needs to be done from here to here and here to here. I have a planner, a handwritten planner, so I don't need that. So that is pretty much a tour of my Notion page. I really like how intuitive it is and you can do a lot more than what I could do previously on OneNote and on a Microsoft Word document. I will update you, of course, in vlogs how my note taking on Notion is going. So I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, please do give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for weekly videos on this channel and I'll see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye.